ओके मार्जिन्स ओके शॉर्टकट नोटेशन क्विकली विल गो क्विकली वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस बैकग्राउंड रिपीट ओके दैट्स इज़ द वन ऑफ़ द प्रॉपर्टी फॉर द बैकग्राउंड प्रॉपर्टीज एंड हाउ रिपीट डिफरेंट वैल्यूज विल शो इट देन बैकग्राउंड पोजीशन हाउ यू वांट टू पोजीशन ओके दैट इज़ द प्रॉपर्टी बैकग्राउंड हाइफन पोजीशन एंड एवरी एलिमेंट हैज अ बॉर्डर ओके एंड देयर इज़ अ बॉर्डर प्रॉपर्टीज दिस इज़ अ शॉर्ट हैंड बॉर्डर देन बॉर्डर स्टाइल विद इट इज़ अ सॉलिड लाइन डॉटेड ओके डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ लाइन बॉर्डर विथ हाउ मच यू वॉन्ट विथ बॉर्डर कलर वॉट काइंड ऑफ अ कलर यू वॉन्ट टू हैव फॉर द बॉर्डर बॉर्डर रेडियस इफ यू हैव राउंडेड कॉर्नर बॉर्डर इमेज इंस्टेड ऑफ हैविंग अ लाइन यू कैन हैव द इमेज ओके एंड वी हैव टू फॉर्म वन इज अ शॉर्टकट नोटेशन एंड अनदर इज अ लॉन्ग फॉर्म सो लॉन्ग फॉर्म इज दिस इज वेन यू सेड लेट्स ए बॉर्डर कलर वेन यू से बॉर्डर कलर द बॉर्डर हैज फोर साइड्स वेन यू से बॉर्डर कलर एज ग्रीन इट विल कलर ऑल द साइड्स एज ग्रीन यूजिंग द लॉन्ग फॉर्म नोटेशन यू कैन स्पेसिफाई ईच ऑफ दिस साइड्स सो बॉर्डर हाइफन टॉप हाइफन कलर सिंपली फॉर द राइट साइड बॉटम साइड लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द बॉर्डर यू कैन स्पेसिफाई डिफरेंट कलर्स और यू कैन यूज द शॉर्ट हैंड border color and specify the four colors and this ad order will go in the trbl that is top right bottom left that is how it will be colored uh, margins and the padding uh, uh, we talked about this margin is uh, whenever you have a element uh, from its parent element uh, you want to keep some space then you will use the margin okay uh, this is the example so this is the margin here and this is the margin it will be on the all the four sides and uh, uh, whenever it is a vertical uh, uh, margins are there those will be collapsed and how the collapse rule is used whichever element has a larger margin that will be used for the display and the shorter margin will be uh, made as a zero and what is padding inside the element inside the element for the content area if you want to have a, a space all around then you use the padding property so you can see here there is a space all around the content area okay this is what we talked about i will show you some examples so here you can see uh, for the outer div okay if you see here div it has a margin of 90 pixels so here this first div this is second div there would be 90 uh, uh, px uh, that would be the margin that would be a uh, given okay since we have a uh, 220 px would be uh, for the uh, horizontal uh, space and when we have two div so this is a one div and second div here instead of 180 it will be collapsed we will have only 90 px as the uh, margin and this is the uh, example of the padding you can say 50 px is inside okay padding so this padding is used uh, as a 50 px and another property we have for the content area we have a uh, width and the height uh, we saw how uh, uh, the width is calculated when we are talking about the width it will consider the the margin the width of the border padding then the content area okay similarly on the left and right hand side if we use the box sizing as a content box if we use it as a border box then whole area whatever you specify this width and height 200 px and 100 px that would be given for the whole box complete box so 200 px and 100 px in this case it is a content box that's why the content area is given as 200 pixel and 100 pixel width is 200 pixel and uh, height is 100 pixel and on top of that we when you are calculating the actual uh, width of the uh, element then you have to consider all of this here uh, because this consi consists of everything it would be 200 pixels plus margin so this is width and height so if you uh, in this particular example uh, the, the just the width and height is not specified by default what it will do whatever is the content size and how the content size is determined if it is a text uh, it will be taken as the font which is a font and the font size so based on that 
it will uh, automatically set the width and the height for this so you can see just the uh, background color we have set it is silver and height and width it is set by default we uh, we are not specifying the height and width in the second scenario we are specifying width and the height width is 200 pixel height is 100 pixel so you can see here uh, this is the actual uh, uh, box that is created that you have specified and there is a spillover or overflow the text uh, because it is not able to fit the content in this it has overflown so we have one more property called overflow property either we can make it as visible okay uh, by default it is visible and if you want to hide that content you can hide it and if you want to put a, a scroll bar uh, you can put the sc a scroll bar or you can uh, set it as auto which is very similar to a scroll bar only thing is auto is if it is required um, uh, uh, the scroll bar is required then only it will put it and this will show the uh, scroll bar irrespective whether it is required or not okay so for uh, this i have one example code okay this is for the margins i have created you have any questions you can ask okay first one is the border properties we will see So uh, you can see here, uh, this HTML page, it has got a head. Uh, this is the closing of the head. Okay, this is the head section. Inside that I have style. Okay, and inside the uh, style, I have only a, 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 a specification for the div. Okay, and for div, what I, uh, what I have is a box sizing. It's a, a content box. So it, is, it will be a content box. I have specified the width, height, padding, okay and margin what should be the margin and um, this is uh, border so what kind of a border i want to have solid 2 pt black etc background color i have specified and overflow property so i have just included all these things in one uh, uh, example and uh, in the body a uh, body is nothing but just a uh, one simple uh, text is there i have a body tag starts here and body stacks ends here inside the body i have title okay margins demo and after that i have div div starts from here and it ends here and inside the div i some content this is just some text i have copied uh, just to show the overflow uh, a text is there and this particular text is not inside any paragraph okay so whatever the div property is there it will be applied to this particular text now uh, so this particular text is displayed here i have specified uh, what we will do is we will understand each of this property how uh, things will change suppose if i change the width instead of 200 i will say it as 300 so width will increase so you can i will refresh i have saved the html so you can see the width has increased and if you make any changes to the height let's say i will make it as shorter 50 okay it has reduced and padding so what is padding i told you uh, padding is see this is the inside what you are seeing is the div okay that is what is this okay inside the div i have the text this text is displayed and i want to have padding padding will give me a space uh, on all the sides so this this area is called as a, a padding so i will understand just we will make that pad, padding as a, a zero and we will see how it looks i will have made uh, padding as zero and i will refresh you can see there is no space between the the due element and the the text inside so it has so we'll give some padding i will say 10 a little bit padding will give so we understood that padding so i have given just 10 pixel now next element is margin so what is the margin margin is 
this div is inside the body okay so body has a, a border from that border the div is uh, 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 there is a space of 50 px so to understand that i will just make it as margin as zero so what will happen when i make the margin as zero see you can see so this is the the body if i give uh, some um, uh, property for the the body that body property will show up if, let us say i put a border for the bo body then i can see that particular thing so it has removed the the margin now there is no margin so i will keep some margin as 50 so you can see the change when i made the margin as 50 so it is giving a, a margin and if i have more dues it will give a subsequent more dues will be here then it will give the margins for every div element excuse me after that i have a border property uh, this is the border uh, that we are talking about and this border i am saying this is a a solid 2pt and a black color okay and just if you want to change something i will change the thickness 4pt and let us say we make it as uh, some color let's say blue you can see the width has increased and the color has changed and if you want to make this as a, some other style so what are the other style we had i think we had dotted you can see the dotted one so those changes we can make using the the border property next is a background color very clear i think uh, there is no issue uh, this is the element that we have just i will increase a little bit uh, the height so, uh, inside this element it will paint the whatever the background color you have specified i have specified here yellow uh, it is showing yellow if you say it's like a, a silver let's say silver it will okay now it is showing silver color now we have the property called the overflow we just saw what what is the overflow you can see whatever the text i have given here is not fitting in whatever the box you have given the box here is 300 pixel by 100 pixel that particular text is not fitting there so that's why the content is overflowing it is going out of the div element for that i can use the overflow uh, property to uh, whether to show the this particular value or not let us say by default it is visible okay uh, now i will say uh, change it to uh, i don't want to see that hidden uh, uh, i don't want to see that value i will make it as hidden if i make it as hidden so you can see now that overflow whatever the content was there it is not visible now uh, if you want to uh, the other option uh, can be uh, we saw the example we can have scroll so I will make it as overflow property as scroll and we will refresh. You can see now I have a scroll bar here where you can see the entire content. You can use the a scroll bar or what was the other property? We had property as auto. Auto is similar to scroll. In this particular uh, case, you won't see any change. Okay. Uh, okay. That was a change. So, uh, uh auto what i said is if it is required then only it will show the uh, scroll bar here it is scroll bar is required that's why it is showing otherwise it will not show the scroll bar let us say i will remove some of the content and uh, i will make it as a shorter text okay instead of having this cascading style sheet is a style sheet language that is enough and i will remove rest of the text I have very small text. I will save it. And see, can you see now? Uh, the uh, now it is set as auto. It is set as auto, so you won't see the any scroll bar because scroll bar is not required. Let us uh, set it as a scroll and see what will happen. So you can see there is a even though it is not uh, enabled but we uh, see the scroll bar 
uh, both horizontal and vertical. Is there any questions? Are you able to see the screen properly? Overflow example, Arif. Yeah, uh, is that clear, Arif? Are you able to see my screen, the example I shown properly? Yes or no? Did you able to understand? At least uh, put a message, yes or no? OK. I hope uh, everybody understood the overflow example. OK, so this is. Um, okay, now next is uh, sizing of uh, element uh, means how the sizing can be done. While the previous examples use pixels for its measurement, many contemporary designers prefer to use the percentage or em units for widths and heights so in the so for example what we you see was the uh, fixed uh, units we use the fixed uh, um, uh, length and uh, fixed width so you are specifying uh, 200 pixel or 100 pixel uh, normally uh, we don't uh, uh, specify that um, like uh, fixed units the reason being like uh, uh, these web applications are viewed in different kinds of devices having different uh, uh, screens. So normally it would be either used as a percentage. So it would be percentage of the parent or it would be EM that is a emphasize. So EM is like how many times the parent we will see the example. Uh, so normally for height and width, we use the percentage and the, or the EM units. When you use percentage, the size is relative to the size of the parent element. So it is uh, relative. Uh, if your parent is 200 pixel and inside the element you give as 50%, then it will automatically uh, show it as um, 100 pixel. So whatever is, it is relative to the parent. When you use EMs, the size of the box is relative to the size of the text within it. So uh, when you have EM, uh, similarly, it is uh, related to the, the size of the parent. Uh, the rationale behind using these relative measures is to make one's design scalable to the size of the browser or the device that is viewing it. So uh, what I said, like uh, similar to that, which are different screens will be using different uh, devices, different screen resolutions will be there uh, to scale according to uh, whatever the um, uh, resolution we have. Uh, we have to use the percentage or the EM units. So this is the example we talked about this yesterday. Uh, so I have this example. We will directly see the code. And the source code for that is. Okay, so uh, this is the source code uh, I have for uh, there are uh, uh, two um, uh, div elements we have and I have specified the uh, different properties for those div elements. So first I will show the HTML part. Uh, for now just uh, HTML. So how to put the HTML comment uh, if you want if you don't want certain uh, HTML tags should be sh uh, shown, uh, then you put it as a comment. So you know, like uh, in any programming language, uh, comments are supported. Similarly, HTML supports the uh, comment. How the comments are given? It will have a open angle, exclamation sign, and two hyphens. This is the beginning of the comment, and everything inside will be co a comment. And the closing comment is two hyphens followed by a, a, a closing angle bracket or I will uh, just remove for now so that it doesn't confuse you. I, I have removed that. Now you can see I have head, okay? So head is the top uh, portion. We will see that in a while. A body, inside the body, this is the body part. 
what I have is a one title sizing elements that will show up here and I have two div elements. This is the first div element. This is the second div elements and inside the div element I have a text. This is not in any paragraph just the inside the div I have a text. What is the text? Pixel hyphen two pic, uh, 200 pixel by 50 pixel and for the div I am using a uh, uh, a class so for uh, uh, selector as a, a class selector how you specify class is equal to inside the double quotes the class name the class name is pixels and this pixel class will be defined in the the style section of the head similarly i have one more div section here and uh, i have one text here what is the text percent 50 percent of width and height of the parent size Basically, this pixel will have a, a fixed size and this uh, second div will have a, a, a percentage. So we will see that. So this uses the class name called as percent. So first one, we will see the pixels. What is the pixel? How the style is spe specified? First thing we have, uh, this is uh, inside the head, inside the head tag. The head tag will go from here to here. Okay. That is the head tag. So you can see the head tag, it is from here to here. And inside the head head tag, I have the style. Inside the head, I have style. And in style, I have a this is a this is called as a group selector. You already seen this. You can group HTML tags, uh, which will have common properties. It's for HTML and for body. Okay, for this HTML and for the uh, body HTML tag, I want to have margin as zero. So I don't want to give any margin. And width is hundred percent. So whatever the screen resolution is available for the device, it will take it as a hundred percent. Mm, uh, it, it depends on what kind of a screen you are opening the application you will uh, get the complete size whatever is available complete width and complete height 100 percent and background would be silver silver color so you can see this everything is the width so this is the width and this is the height and it is uh, shown in as the background color as uh, uh, silver or if you just want to see the difference here I will make it as white. Okay, you can see everything is white. So all this section is the uh, HTML and the body. And it uses this all styles. So margin is zero and width is 100%, height is 100% and background color is white. Then comes the dot pixel. Okay, this is a, a class selector. Name of the uh, cl uh, class is pixels and what is pixel is width is 200 px so this is the first view if you see the uh, already we saw the uh, uh, the html uh, uh, document the first view uses this property dot pixels and what is the width width is 200 pixel height is 50 pixel this is what you are seeing this is 200 pixel and the height is 50 pixel and background color is teal so this is having a teal color if you want to see a little change there i will increase the width as 300 save the html refresh so you can see the difference here now the first this is fixed okay and background color is um, uh, teal and the second one second one you can see is dot percent the second, this is the second view. What it is showing is the width is 50% and the height is 50% uh, and background is uh, olive color. So you can see the this particular, uh, we, can uh, we cannot accurately measure. The parent size is complete screen, okay? Complete the screen. This is almost half of the screen and the height is this much. And half of that is what is it is showing as the parent size. The uh, advantage with this is the second box as the parent size changes. 
it will automatically change so i will what i will do is i will resize okay now you can see i have resized the, the screen when i as i am doing resizing you can see it is changing because it is the percentage as the parent changes it will change and you can notice the first div which is we have used the the um, um, uh, fixed value for the width and the height it is not changing it will not change irrespective of what is the uh, parent size it will not change while the second one which is used as the percentage of the uh, parent it will change according to the the size so you can see now as the parent size is increasing its size is also increasing okay that is the uh, example that was given here mm. so this is the example here so uh, this is the one i showed you the html document and with the resize uh, the second second div would be 50% always 50% of the parent and as the resizing happens it this will also get resized while the first one irrespective of what is the parent size it will not change its dimension it is fixed and the, in the second, uh, we'll see a, a fixed parent and the uh, parent relative. So that is the another example. I will show you the code. Okay. So I have included both the examples in the same code. So I will control side. Now what I will do is I will just comment the first part which uh, we saw and uh, we will see the second part after the title. Okay, just, just assume that this part is not there or I will remove this, I will put it back later. Now this is the second example. In the second example, again I have two uh, divs are there, title is given, uh, uh, the second, the first div it is using a class called parent fixed okay and inside that i have one more uh, um, html element strong and parent has fixed size so strong in the sense it will uh, looks wise it will come up as a bold and after that there is a one more division inside this second division div class is equal to percent and what is the text parent 50 percent of the width it is the same uh, text as before now this div has a parent okay uh, first thing is inside a div is using the percent properties and uh, it has a parent that parent is using the parent fixed and uh, there is one more division element here this div is using a class called as parent relative we will see the parent fixed and parent relative okay it is uh, uh, defined here and inside this div, I have one strong element and one div element. And inside the div, I have just one text. And this div is also using the uh, class as percent. So uh, what is the scenario here? The, uh, uh, the uh, division that is a, a child of a, this parent. This parent is also using relative. Means this percent relative is, it is a percentage this is using percentage and parent is also using the a percentage okay and in this uh, first scenario the child is using the a percent but the parent is using the a fixed and we will see what is parent fixed okay. you can see here parent fixed it is 400 pixel and width is 400 pixel height is 150 pixel and background color is beige and uh, second pro uh, class is parent relative we are using 50% for the width and the height and background color is yellow. So there are two elements. I will save this and we will see how it looks. Okay, now you can see that. I will show you the property. Okay, now you can see here the first parent has fixed size that is coming from here. Parent has 
uh, fixed size. So this particular, uh, whatever the div we have used, a parent has a, a fixed size. And what is the uh, size the parent has? Uh, we just saw it is 400 pixel, 400 uh, pixel as the width and height as the uh, 150 pixel and beige is the color. And uh, in the second one, So that is the parent property and inside the parent uh, again this is class is a percent and what is a percent we saw the percent earlier it is basically using 50 percent you can see it is using uh, width as 50 percent and uh, height as 50 percent background is on it so you can see all new color and next one is the second element second view second view class is parent relative and what is a parent relative uh, it is using 50 percent and 50 percent so just i will minimize okay this parent so this is a parent has this parent is 50 percent so if you roughly see uh, this is half of the screen okay and height is also half of the uh, height of the screen so this is the a parent and this parent is having a yellow color okay and that is what is shown here and inside that inside that i have one more div so this is one more div but this div is also using relative percent it uses only a 50 percent that is this div whatever you are seeing this is half of this parent so the this is the grandparent okay this is a parent and this is grandchild so whatever is the grandparent this child is using 50 percent of that and this particular div is using 50 percent of its parent so that is how it will look like and if i resize okay if i resize you can see the second div will resize the first will not resize so if you are not able to see uh, the this is the parent Okay, if I change the some some other color, you will be visible. I will change it to parent fixed uh, instead of uh, beige. Uh, I will make it as uh, uh, let's say silver. We'll make it as silver, and I will refresh. Okay, now you can see. I will show it again. When the screen was larger, you can see this particular parent is a relative and this is a relative to its parent whatever this size is it is 50 percent but the first parent is a fixed one it is not changing and uh, inside one is relative uh, e even though it is relative it will go only 50 percent so this has taken uh, 50 percent of the uh, width and the 50 percent of the height but as i resize as i resize you can see the second questions here okay so that is how you can uh, control uh, the uh, so it is better to have uh, you can see from this example it is always better to have a relative as the screen changes right irrespective of what device you are so here it is relatively it is changing here the problem is you have made the parent as fixed when you make the parent as uh, fixed irrespective of what relative thing you will use that outer container would be a fixed size. It won't resize. Okay. So developer tools, we have uh, developer tools. Uh, developer tools in current browser make it significantly easier to examine the and troubleshoot CSS than uh, was the uh, case a decade ago. Uh, you can use various browsers, CSS inspection tools to examine, for instance, the box values for selected elements. So I will show you the uh, developer tools. Earlier, it was not there. Now, all of the, most of the browsers, they are coming with the developer tools. Uh, this is example of a Chrome, okay? In case of a Chrome, uh, you go to the setting and you say more tools and inside the more, more tools you will see developer tools clear 
now <clears throat> you can see here now i have highlighted the html okay see uh, you can see the whole uh, screen the complete screen got uh, selected and if i come inside the a uh, body so now body is selected then you can see head is selected title is selected now this is a first div you can see the first div inside the first div i have strong it is highlighted so uh, if i remove my cursor here you won't be able to see okay you will see when i uh, put on the strong this will be highlighted i will put it on the uh, strong you can see and this is div so it is giving the dimension also 200 into 75 why 200 into 75 anybody can answer that please unmute and talk you have to interact why why this this particular is showing 200 into 75 can anybody answer okay that is fine okay uh, now you can see the parent the parent itself is 400 into 150 and i have this div as a 50% that's why height whatever the width and the height it is showing 50% width parents width is 400 that's why it is its width is 200 and parents height is the 150 it is showing half of that that, that is uh, 75 that's why you are seeing 200 into 75 so this is how you can use it in the um, uh, chrome google chrome and for microsoft edge i will load and this you can do it for any html if you open any website also you can do that and uh, normally if you are doing the web scraping and uh, things like that uh, you want to know which element you are, you have to select so uh, when you use this developer tool you can see what is the sometimes they specify the class suppose you want to extract uh, the product uh, product and uh, the price from let's say a few websites so you you have to go through that website open it in the developer tools you can identify what is the product id they are using and what is the price the name uh, that you can uh, use it in the web scraping to uh, scrape those values so you can see here uh, in case of a, a explorer you click on uh, these three dots and developer tools is shown here okay this is how it is shown in the i e i e or the microsoft edge you can see and you can uh, expand these things uh, to get into the uh, details of uh, the html and also you can see how the layout and what are the uh, size uh, given for them okay next one is a uh, uh, text uh, styling text properties so there are certain text uh, properties uh, are uh, available uh, css provides two types of properties that affect the text font properties that affect the font and its appearance paragraph properties that affect the text in similar way no matter which font is being used so here in case of a word processor uh, on a desktop machine can make use of any font that is installed on the computer uh, browsers are no different so uh, what uh, fonts you can use in the <coughs> word processor whichever fonts that are installed on your computer and it is for browsers also it is similar however just because given font is available uh, on the web developers computer it does not mean that the same font will be available for all users who view the site for this reason it is conventional to supply a so called web font stack uh, that is series of alternate fonts to use in font font let us say you cannot assume that all the users will have that particular uh, uh, font Uh, so what you have to do is normally you have to give a a, a stack of um, uh, stack of fonts like uh, at least for five to six fonts you can give so if one is not available the next font will be selected so on so it will go in that particular order so that is how you can specifying the font family how you can specify the font family font hyphen family that is the property and colon 
so you can see like we have one two three uh, four four different properties that i have been specified separated by comma so first one is the cambria if cambria font is available the browser will use that if it is not available in that particular uh, web user it will go for the next one if georgie is not available it will go for the uh, times new roman if that is also not available it will go for the next one that is serif so there are uh, um, uh, font family generic font family we have the font family property supports five different generic families the browser supports a typeface from each family so first one these are the five uh, different uh, font family we have a uh, serif okay a uh, serif is like uh, some kind of a uh, extension so you can see there is a little extension extension uh, this family is called as a serif then sans serif so you don't have any kind of a extension that is sans serif monospace uh, in this kind uh, each character will use the exactly the same space you can see here uh, this t and this i they use exactly the uh, same space uh, there is no change in the uh, width you can see this font the t is using more compared to i so uh, this is a uh, this type is called as a monospace monospace will use same width for all the characters then next is the cursive then second uh, the last one is the a uh, fantasy for uh, any kind of a uh, uh, decorative fonts uh, you can use the fantasy at uh, font hyphen face uh, so this is a, a new um, uh, uh, property uh, that is like uh, most of the time what happens is uh, we are dependent on the uh, the fonts that are available now uh, there are some uh, popular open source uh, font sites uh, are there which are providing the uh, fonts okay over the past few years the most recent browser version having begun to support the at font hyphen uh, face selector in css this selector allows you to use font on your site even if it is not installed on your uh, end users computer so for this what it will do is it will use the open source font sites so we have uh, some of them uh, like uh, google web fonts uh, font squirrel okay uh, this seems to uh, now this is uh, uh, gaining uh, um, uh, mass acceptance because it doesn't depend on what fonts are installed on the particular device it will get it from the uh, open source font sizes uh, the issue of the font sizes is un unfortunately somewhat tricky in a print based program such as word processor specifying a font size in uh, points is unproblematic so uh, when we are specifying the font size if you are using it for the print taking a print out uh, in those kind it is not a problem however absolute units such as points and inches do not translate very well pixel based devices uh, so when you are using the inch and the points uh, it will not exactly translate into uh, pixel based device because uh, every device has a, a different uh, uh, pixel formatting uh, if we wish to create a uh, web layouts that work well on different uh, devices we should learn to use relative fonts such as em units or uh, percentages for our uh, uh, font sizes and uh, indeed uh, other sizes in css as well so uh, if we are planning to use uh, this it is better to use the em em units or the percentage so i have a code for that uh, we will discuss about that in the uh, next session uh, so you know, with that uh, we will conclude uh, today's class with attendance